Hi, I'm Renee Ng, your host for Common Sense. In today's episode, we take a look at Dream Gear. They're a company that makes both video game and audio accessories. If you're a music lover or gamer, there's a really good chance you've used one of their products before. We're going to take you behind the scenes and find out how this company has managed to succeed in two different industries since starting in 2002. ever played video games or used an mp3 player, you've dreamed of the perfect gear. Gear being slang for things and things that you have with you and it wasn't particularly unique to any one industry, video gaming or audio or what have you and it's, it's worked very well for us. The company's name, Dream Gear, describes them perfectly. We went through dozens if not hundreds of different names and combinations and I think we finally settled on Dream Gear that everybody dreams of having the perfect gear. Co-founder Richard Weston wasn't always creating the perfect gear. He's launched businesses in the past and worked in entertainment, but he was looking for a change. I enjoyed the idea of having a physical product, uh, being part of its development, its manufacture, its marketing, and seeing it actually on the shelf and uh, seeing people use your product. He discussed the idea of creating a product with his two business partners, Morris Mirzada and Yaya Aktu. I have two partners. Both of them have been in the video game industry, or had been in the video game industry, oh, I would say, since the late 80s. Morris and Yaya had started a business together in the past and knew the ropes. So it's having a certain mentality that prepares you to start a business from scratch. The three combined their video gaming knowledge, entrepreneurial experience, and money to form Dream Gear in 2002, starting with close to $1 million. We solely funded the company entirely with our own capital, no bank loans. They opened a small storefront in West Los Angeles with two employees. The co-founders didn't take salary until the end of the first year. By then, they needed a larger place for inventory. We wanted an area that was not only close to the port, close to the airport, but really provided a, a nice area for our employees. Dream Gear chose Torrance, moving in 2003 to a 60,000 square foot building. They now have 55 staff members and a number of employees are from Torrance. Actually, Torrance has been a very good source of employees. The Torrance general area has uh, been very successful in recruiting local people, which we like to do. They also have seven employees working out of their China office, where their manufacturing takes place. The best part of their expansion and success is that they are still self-funded. To this day, although we have a line of credit from a local bank uh, that allows us to expand our purchases of inventory during the high season, we're essentially self-funded. What about their first piece of gear? Stay with us after this break to find out what it was. I am Sammy and I have high cholesterol. Specifically, Sammy and I have familial hypercholesterolemia, or FH. An inherited genetic disease that causes high cholesterol, often starting in childhood. FH affects more than 600,000 Americans, but often goes undiagnosed, leading to premature heart attack and death. If caught early, FH is treatable. Do you know if high cholesterol runs in your family? See a doctor and get screened. For more information, visit www.learnyourlipids.com. Madre is an international women's human rights organization, and what we do is work in small, community-based women's groups in places where women and families are really struggling, either because of war or poverty. Even while times are hard for us here, you know, things are much more dire in other parts of the world, and if we're able to, each of us give what we can, it really makes a tremendous difference. Wherever women are standing up for peace and for human rights, Madre is there. Please join us. Welcome back to Common Sense. We're with Dream Gear, the company that makes accessories for video games and MP3 players, including iPods. The company has been profitable since launching in 2002. Fortunately, we've been profitable from day one. Uh, and that profitability has continued for these 10 years. They made millions in sales last year and sold hundreds of thousands of units, but it didn't happen overnight. It started with Dream Gear's first product. We scoured the various trade shows, factories, came back with one or two products that were so-called off the shelf. 
Inspired by their research, they came up with their first product, the Boom Boom Box. It was essentially a uh, waterproof uh, box with speakers built into it. You opened it up, you put your iPod in it, or any other MP3 player, connected it, closed it up, and you could take it to the beach. They took the Boom Boom Box and hit the ground running. We just started knocking on doors from everybody from Best Buy, Target, Walmart. Dream Gear eventually got national retailers to sell their products. Use them to open up the doors with customers while we were developing our own line of products. And that's really how it started. Over the past decade, Dream Gear has built up their distribution network through retailers. But we now sell worldwide uh, to every major retailer and a lot of mom and pops throughout the United States. Dream Gear didn't stop with video gaming accessories. A few years after the company launched, a well-known company came out with a revolutionary MP3 player. Shortly thereafter, as we were developing various audio products for video gamers, uh, Apple started exploding with its iPod, and uh, we became one of the first licensees of Apple. Dream Gear received a license in 2006 to develop Apple-related products, starting off with the iPod. We realized it was changing the world of listening to music and audio devices, and that uh, we were already producing headphones. So it was a natural fit to just jump into that. The only problem was the products didn't fit the Dream Gear brand. We developed a, another brand called iSound to concentrate on Apple-related products, principally for iPhone, iPad, and iPod. Luckily, the company already had retailers carrying their products. They just added iSound products to the mix. Today, they have more than 300 different products in both their Dream Gear and iSound line, and 12 patents. The company doesn't directly market the products, but they help their retailers with advertising. We provide what's called marketing allowances or marketing development funds to our national retailers. Producing so many products for multiple retailers isn't easy. The logistics, the systems of running a business, um, Particularly when you're dealing with large retailers, it's uh, being prepared to meet their needs. Part of meeting those needs is ensuring their prices are competitive. But we can't overcharge with such a high margin that makes it difficult for them to be competitive. So we tend to be very sensitive to that and reactive to what their needs are. Dream Gear and iSound products retail from $14.99 to $129.99 in stores, and consumers can be sensitive to price. During the economic recession, sales dropped, and retailers tried to reduce their orders and inventory. We believe we've bottomed out. We see a turnaround in 2012. Sales are improving. Uh, we're very pleased with the improvement. New products also help improve sales. Next, we'll find out how long it takes to come up with a new product and just what is involved. Don't go anywhere after this break. The American Legion honors our newest generation of warriors and veterans. Please join us in supporting and recognizing their unique contributions and needs. The unemployment rate among veterans is unacceptably high. They are a proven commodity and they deserve a chance to get back to work after serving their country. Hire, Hire them. Today, more than ever before, women are on the front lines of America's defense. They deserve to be recognized for their service as guardians of freedom and to receive the best treatment and care we can provide. Let's not forget our wounded warriors and their families as they return home. We cannot allow them to be forgotten and left to fend for themselves. They deserve more. And let's honor the families who sacrifice so much every day. As the service member serves, so does the family. Please join with the American Legion to find out how you can truly honor America's newest generation of veterans. Go to legion.org slash honor veterans to find out more. We're back on Common Sense, visiting Dream Gear to find out how they managed to release over 300 different products since launching in 2002. And it all starts with an idea. Sometimes we'll work hand in hand with our factories that will have an idea or a suggestion for us of a new development. Uh, frequently, it's our own product design team that comes up with an innovative product. And the company has been recognized for their innovation at the world's largest electronic show in the world, the Consumer Electronics Show. We're very proud uh, for a number of years to have won what's called an innovation award, which is really developing a new product that is not only uh, functionally perhaps different, but design-wise, uh, customer suitability and appreciation is uh, very high. Dream Gear and iSound designs are also inspired by technology. If 
a new device comes out, for example, we immediately know that there are going to be new items that need to come out related to that. When the latest Xbox video game controller came out, Dream Gear analyzed user feedback and created an ergonomic silicone grip for the controller. So what we wanted to do with this was make it something that not only fits in your hand correctly, but with the materials, you know, the, the soft touch exterior on, the, on this black version, and also just the, like on, on the D-pad, there's a slight concave. So your finger naturally rests towards the center, so you have easy access to any of the buttons. The company will also improve an existing product, like their PowerView Pro S, a charging dock for Apple devices. What we did was we incorporated a, a sliding backrest, so the backrest actually slides forward and back, which allows you to not only adjust the viewing angle, but fit different device widths. Um, but we also incorporated a, a rotating 30 pin. So what these allow you to do is to use a device that's whether it's cased or uncased, and also from the, you know, the original model all the way to the most recent. They moved the charging ports to the side of the product and eliminated multiple adapters that came with the original model. We wanted to eliminate those adapters and make the docks in a way so that they would just work from the very beginning with, with, with anything they needed to, you know, any of these devices. After a product concept is created, it is modeled at the Torrance headquarters. The product team uses everything from traditional hand sketching to computers. We also use uh, more digital tools, you know, more state-of-the-art equipment, from CAD modeling to more Adobe programs for creating layouts and you know, just exploring ideas. Final drawings are sent to their office in China, so pre-production samples can be created for review. The products are also tested for quality control and functionality, among other things. The most important thing of all is we need to look at the safety part of the products. The quality control testing time can vary from a few hours to several days depending on the product. We find out how their new portable battery product is tested. This is for example a new battery we have. So you are the first one who sees that. And this is a battery to back up your iPhone, your iPod or your iPad. And you see it has three USB outputs, one for iPhone and two for iPads. You can charge them all simultaneously. And additionally, it has a 12 volt output for tablets, like the Samsung tablets and so on. So it's really universal, and that's what we are testing now. During the testing process, an electronic node is plugged into the battery to find out how long it will take to charge a tablet. After a product is tested and ready, it is manufactured in China, while the packaging is handled in Torrance. Once we decide that a product is ready for production, we do all the packaging here, all the design of the graphics. Packaging is an equally important part of the product life cycle. You have to think of who's going to be seeing this item, where is it going to be located, is it going to be on the store, shelf. Packaging designers also have to think about how the product will be shipped and the size of the product, like their GoSync Bluetooth receiver. It's a very small item. Um, we have to increase the size of the packaging so it stands out on the shelf, otherwise you're not going to see it. Dream Gear creates the packaging design and do photo shoots as well. The entire process, from conception to final packaging, could be done in 90 days, but normally takes longer. More often the life cycle is about a six-month life cycle, which in and of itself is quite rapid to develop a new product. Dream Gear releases 20 to 50 new products each year, and keeping up with changes in technology can be tough. Right after the short break, we'll find out how the company manages to do this in a competitive market. It is important for young people to have a mentor in their life. I would definitely say that I have had an impact on his life and he's had an impact on my life. One of the most important lessons that I've learned from Charlie is to make better decisions and take responsibility for what you're going to do. Think about what you would be today if people didn't go a step out of their way to help you out. And that's, that's really what it's all about. So get involved and do your part. Invest in the future. Mentor a child. Each year, thousands of people come to visit the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. Many reach out and touch the wall to feel some of the 58,000 names that are etched in black stone. They were people whose lives had meaning. The Education Center at the Wall will preserve the images, letters, and stories of those who served so that their lives will never be forgotten. Call or click now and help us build it. Welcome back to Common Sense. 
Dream Gear and iSound are two companies under the same roof that have succeeded in both the video game and iPod and MP3 accessories industries, which can be difficult. You have a customer base that is very technologically savvy. Uh, they're very internet savvy. Uh, either they're dreaming of new ways to enhance their product or they've heard rumors of it and they always want to know when are you coming out with it. Dream Gear and iSound must also deal with competitors. We have competitors on the video game side and we have competitors on the Apple product, the MP3 and tablet side. But there's no one really out there that does what we do. It helps that they are an exclusive licensee of Sesame Street for video game accessories, cell phone and iPhone covers. They are also a licensee of 24-hour fitness for Wii Fit and Wii Yoga accessories. Their ability to adapt also helps them stay on top. We're very, very quick to react to changing trends or new product. Along with a strong foundation. We have the three owners hands-on working here uh, for as many hours as it takes that we're able to get product to the customer very, very quickly. Dream Gear and iSound take care of their employees that help meet customer demand. We try and create a family atmosphere. Um, I think we're very responsive to the needs of our employees as individuals. And they give back to the community too. We try and participate in uh, local charitable endeavors. Uh, we're involved with a uh, Salvation Army uh, Christmas drive to collect toys, which is uh, natural for us. For the founders, the fun lies and the challenges ahead. It's a very, very fast changing technological picture. So trying to stay ahead of the curve, anticipate what's coming, and come out with innovative product is always a challenge. Thank you for joining me today as we saw how Dream Gear is creating innovative product designs for video game and audio accessories. I'm Renee Ng and I hope you enjoyed watching Common Sense, where we offer a rare behind the scenes look at local Torrance businesses and explore the secrets to their success. If you know of another local business you would like to see featured on our show, please send an email to commonsense at torrentsca.gov. We look forward to seeing you next time.